primate Ayodele Elijah wants Tinumbu, saying Swaga will be used to dump and betray you. <laughs> the leader of INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church Primates Elijah Ayodele has warned the national leader of the All Progressive Congress APC Bola Metinumbu against those pushing him to contest for presidency in 2023. The man of God who had warned Tinumbu's one of Tinubu's earth condition made it known that the South West agenda, which is Swaga, which was created for Tinubu's amb ambition, will be used to betray him. He explained that those pushing him for presidency don't love him but want to betray him. News Rain Nigeria reports that he released this prophecy, among others, for the celebration of Nigeria's 61st independence two weeks ago. Prime Minister Ayodele wants Tinubu saying that Swaga will be used to dump, betray him. And he said, they will use Swaga to dump APC national leader Bola Ahmed Tinubu and betray him. Betray him. Atiku should not double into politics in 2023. He will only waste his money. A lot will happen before 2023. The next president will be a surprise and shock to many. APC will break into three different parties. The third force can only work if the right step is taken we can will be relevant if it takes it easy consult god to play his politics or else he will shoot himself on the leg a prominent politician will pass on in 2022 governor dakbo abiodun will face challenges he must strategize for second term otherwise his challenges will surmount him ipob will cause more problems i see an aspirant being kidnapped let us pray against the death of any aspirant. Vaisa governor will face challenges that will trouble his government. <laughs> prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. People are always saying that hey, this one is a political prophet. That he's just trying to do tubu, 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 permutations, which everybody, those who are conversant with politics, will be able to tell you that, oh, this can really happen or this cannot really happen. Well, I, the area which I really want to concern myself with is the area of uh, this uh, this particular the governor of uh, Ogun State. He's talking about uh, the governor of Ogun State. <laughs> I don't understand. So what is more important, at least to Ogun State now, is for this man to get his second tenor. Even in the first tenor, this man has done nothing. They are just there to fulfill all righteousness and just put their name that they've become this, they were this, they were that. I don't understand. And you, all these are prophecies. <laughs> but as far as Tinubu on is concerned, of course, there's a time for everything. You see the parallel congress that uh, ran in Lagos. See what they are doing. See the way the even the northerners have been pushing him back, back and forth, left, right, and center. No, no one needs to be told all of this is happening. But at the end of the day, where will all of this leave Nigeria? Where will all of this lead us to? It is unfortunate, so really unfortunate. That is why you see some people say, oh, it is only God that can help us in this country because everyone is tired. When you think of this, you think of the other one. At the end of the day, nothing is even coming up. Well, man of God is always a respected. Uh, is, is always respected. His prophecy cannot be wished away. But what wonders me most time is that your prophecy is always centered around politicians only. What about industrialization to catch up with Western world? In as much I respect your view, pray for the survivor of the nation. Primate, I want you to prophesy for me if I will win the governorship election of Lagos State in 2023. I'm not known. I'm not a politician. I don't have money. Please, sir, would I make it as a consultant rather than going into politics? Prophesy for me, waiting for response. Like, seriously, Baba, why you abandon Oshibaju? I believe Oshibaju will be our next president. What are you saying? You want him to tell you that you want to what you want to hear. The right spirit of prophecy doesn't go that way. He's saying what he sees. After all getting it right politically, uh, can bring industrialization. He has made the right, uh, he has the right to speak as the spirit leads him to. So mind your words, please. My people are perished because they lack knowledge. Don't Mind them, he must say what he saw. 
If they like, they should listen. If they like, they should not listen to him. And simple and short, Baba face church matter. Please leave politicians. Already people said your prediction is always against APC. People said you are PDP, you're a PDP man. The question should be whether they come to pass or not. It doesn't matter who it favors. You are saying what you that the people already know. So why telling us this? Tell us what he has said that didn't come to pass. People hate the truth, especially APC people. Is it really people? APC people. I just believe that people who do not want the right thing to be heard, or people who just want to hear. They just want people to tell them what they want to hear and they will run with it. Maybe that's what they are thinking in their mind and they, somebody will just say that whether it is true or not. Oh, they will just, they will run with it. Prophecies, prophecies, prophecies. Anything he says to me is not from God, but he knows his sources. Are you for real? <laughs> well, he has given some kind of a prophecies about uh, almost all these, all, almost all, all the governors in the South he touched. He talked about it, you know, we talked about a governor of Bayesa State. He talked about a VK governor of Ugo State. Politics, 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 and politicians. That is the only thing we hear. Things that we favor all these politicians, but not things that we favor the, the people in the real sense. It is just unfortunate. But as for Tinubu himself, you know, let him use his tongue to plant his seeds if he wants to. People have been saying that, oh, he is going to be deceived. The, the people who are running or rally around him. Of course, nobody needs to be told. Nobody needs a soothsayer to tell you what, a, what is around him. A lot of people who are just running around him, they just want to get what they want to get. And at the end of the day, they will discard him. See what is happening in Lagos State now. They have a, two factions now. They say they want to unseat a Tinubu. And looking at Tinubu, he has done his own bit. There is time for everything. You cannot be whatever forever it is the same people who are loyal to him that he has used for dirty jobs they are the ones that will, will know his in and out and they will use it against him when i hear people say oh yes Tinumbu has built a lot of people he has made some people to become what they want to become you can count those people he has made they are always telling us about 10 or 12 of them at the end of the day of what use to the general populace the people that he has made, those people he has made are those people he believes that he will be doing his own bidding. But at the end of the day, to, to his greatest surprise, they are the ones that will come for his downfall. Just like uh, the prophet has said, that those swagger, whatever they have put together, they will use it to dump him and betray him. And there's no, uh, there's no, there's no doubt about that. So guys, put your comment down in the comment section on what the prophet has said.